chill day in self-care day in vibe i need to i'm finally taking this sewing out it's been a while since i've had this sewing i love this sewing like it really is just like such an easy hairstyle but it's time for something new i am going to get a new sewing eventually but i just want to take this out and like um wash my hair straighten it just let my hair breathe for a little bit before my next sewing so that's what we're doing today and my the front of my hair is so damaged like the well i don't know if it's damaged but i'm sure as soon as this leave out part touches water i'm scared i, I don't know i don't think it's gonna revert i mean i already have heat damage but like this part especially right here with the baby hairs because i was curling this so often i know it's gonna be very loose curl <laughs> Um, so I'm really gonna try to also do a lot of treatments to my hair just to make it just to help out okay because I'm, I'm really scared for my leave out but yeah so I'm really just gonna take my time and do my hair today like no rush I have the whole day I woke up kind of late today but it's like it's fine you guys throw back to when I used to use this like chai latte thing all the time I got one again because I haven't used this in so long
okay so today is actually the next day yesterday i did my hair and it all just got like super late at night by the time i was finished blow drying my hair i just got really tired and i was like should i just wait until tomorrow to finish and i was like yeah i think so so my hair is blow dried and all of that and now the only thing that's left to do is to go ahead and straighten this hair it's been so long since i've just like been able to run my fingers through my hair so i've been loving this and my hair smells so good mm. to straighten i'm gonna be using a steam styler for the first time so this is from sri this is supposed to be a lot healthier for you than like a regular straightener because it's using steam so i'm so excited to go ahead and use this i really want to see what the results are like with this as well this is the same brand as the brand as the blow dryer that i use for my hair i absolutely love that blow dryer so i'm like really excited to try this out and see how this works for me and my natural hair obviously i'll let you guys know how i feel about it so yeah you literally have to put like water in this chamber and it's like heating up right now but i'm really excited so finally let's go ahead and straighten this hair honey because i'm tired of doing this hair like oh my god okay so coming through with a voiceover to really explain this to you guys but i ended up um parting my hair in very small sections as i always do when i'm straightening my hair and i used a mini flat iron to get my roots and then i went in with the steam styler for the rest of the hair i put it on the highest setting which is 450 degrees and as you guys can see there's a lot of smoke coming out of the straightener that's actually the steam so that really helped to smooth my hair out and i feel like my hair felt so healthy after straightening it it didn't feel dry it felt very moisturized and i think that's the benefit of using a steam styler is that your hair your hair just feels so much more moisturized and your hair actually retains moisture a lot better because you're using water to help straighten it so i personally loved how this came out i will link the steam styler down below you can find them on amazon but you can also find this on their website and it's honestly just amazing i'm definitely going to start using this more often because i genuinely believe that this really did help reduce the amount of heat damage um, to my hair so yeah if you guys want to check that out definitely check out the link down below thank you so much to sri for sponsoring this video and for providing me with this steam styler i absolutely love it i have a code that will get you the best deal on the infrared steam styler and the dry q so check out my bio for more information okay you guys my hair is done i honestly love it like i think it looks so good and i really feel like this straightener didn't like fully damage my hair like my hair still has a little bit like it's not like silky 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 straight but i actually like that um even though it's still it has some movement and stuff so i'm loving this and i oh my god i miss wearing my own hair like i feel like my head looks my size <laughs> now i don't know if you guys get what i mean but like sometimes the sewn when you have braids under and stuff like your head looks a little bit bigger and now my head looks like my size <laughs> so i love this i love how this looks i want i kind of want to get clippings now um to add to my hair so i can make it just a little bit longer but i love how this turned out hey guys welcome to the vlog so we're starting off a maintenance vlog today today is tuesday and i'm headed out to go and get my nails done honestly i love my last set that i did let me focus this my last set was so cute and it's crazy because i wasn't even filming like i didn't film for tiktok or um youtube when i got my nails done but i should have because the set is so freaking cute but yeah i'm going in to get like a refill and just like a new set so i think i'm gonna do black nails honestly that's what i feel like doing i feel like doing like a black set i wish i had shorties because then i would just go and do like all black set but i'm not i'm just gonna stick with like this shape and i don't know i might do like a black french or something we're figuring it out i'm literally going through pinterest right now but um we have everything to do this week i need to get my lashes done i'm doing my own hair i'm just waiting on something to come in some products to come in but i'm doing my own hair i'm taking this sewing out finally honestly i'm gonna be sad though because this sewing is like it was the most convenient the best hairstyle ever like it's so cute but i'm getting a new sewing done but i want to wear my natural hair um out for a little bit and then we're gonna go in and do another sewing so this is what we're doing and then um i might get my toes done i don't know you know it's getting cold out so it's like i just have like a, a small chip on my left big toe it's like i 
when in this weather nobody's even seen my toes so <laughs> we'll see i might still do it though um what else oh my god i'm getting filler again you guys i'm getting filler. i'm doing that literally today so you guys remember last video i got filler for the first time the plan was always for me to go back and get a little bit more done so we're doing that today um but yeah as of right now i'm just going to get my nails done so that's what we have planned for this maintenance vlog so let's go I took that five view. I do that three four times again. I test the five view. I sort of like you, that bitch. I do it all that I'm on my girls get it. I'm not long as you joking now in for me. I ain't got it. My bitch, skin here, do it. I joke bodies. Long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. Tell the truth, I look better under you. I can lose when I'm with you. How can I lose in this moment? You just too important. Nobody, nobody like you will do. This is what they look like really cute i found like this picture of inspo of something like this on pinterest and i was like you know what let me just do this and black and i think it's really cute i just wish i went a little bit shorter but other than that i really like the nails i need to head out like right now because the appointment for me to get my filler is at four and it's literally like an hour to get there like i don't know traffic is crazy so i'm gonna see you guys when i get there Make me sweat Make me harder Start off with lips and then we're gonna do chin after. So this is the same one that we did in your chin last time. Mm -hmm. It's thicker, it like mimics bone. Okay. And it's really good for projection. S is really soft because you already have a nice lip shape, it basically just forms to your natural lip shape. Okay. Let me help you. Mm -hmm. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, they swell like Top lip is done. It's really not that painful. I'm surprised. <laughs> so this is already like sw swollen mm -hmm. immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna go down. Mm -hmm. Especially this, like the oh the top. Yeah. Yeah, it looks the like border. it's like your upper line. Yeah. You have a good paint tolerance. That's so surprising because I swear I don't. But. Usually people, lips is like one of the most painful parts of the whole face. Really? Mm -hmm. You know what's yep. even crazy? I kind of like the pinch, like something wrong with me. Oh my god, my corners. <laughs> I was like, it kind of feels like when you're popping a pimple, like it's satisfying in a, it's painful but satisfying in a weird way. Yeah. This is the final results. The lips will go down, so it looks very swollen now, but let me know if you guys notice a difference in the chin because I always have a hard time <laughs> noticing a difference. But I think eventually I, I can see it. This is for your, for your lips, okay? okay. Chin. Because mm -hmm. I didn't bring it down more. Mm -hmm. I just brought it more forward. Mm -hmm. Oh no, my lips look so dry. And my lips look so wrinkly. Girl, just... I'm not going <laughs> to... Hey guys, I'm back home. I just wanted to show you guys what my face looks like now. Um... You guys definitely notice a difference. I feel like the lips is very, there's a big difference with the lips and even the chin. I feel like the chin, I, I see it. Like it's like a lot more pronounced now, 
the lips, like you guys maybe heard earlier, it's swollen, so it's actually gonna go down. So it's not gonna look like this um, forever. It's only gonna be swollen like this for the next like two days, and then the swelling should just go down completely. But I'm honestly really happy with the way this turned out. I went to Beauty Bar. I went to the their Thornhill location. Um, and nurse Alejandra was the one helping me. She was great. Like I honestly have no complaints with her She's so so sweet and She did a good job like by the way you guys I don't want to make it seem like I'm getting filler every single day because I know that in the last vlog I got filler and I'm getting filler now again My plan all along was to get all of this stuff done But we just wanted to start off super simple and like very small since it was my first time So in my last vlog you guys saw me doing like the one mil in the chin the goal was always to go ahead and do two mils in the chin, but we just wanted to start off very slow and stuff like that. But yeah, this is really all that I want to do to my face. I don't want to do anything else. I'm like happy with this and how it looks. And I know some of you guys were like, girl, like you look good naturally. You, you're already beautiful. You don't need that. And honestly, I understand those comments. Like I don't get offended by it. I'm going to be honest because sometimes I look at other people and I think the exact same thing. So I understand that for most of you guys are coming from a good place. Um, but I'm gonna be honest, this is something that I've thought about doing for such a long time and I was just finding like, you know what, let me just do it. I'm blessed to say this, but I'm not necessarily the type of person who has like very strong um, insecurities physically. So I'm honestly, I'm happy with the way that I look. The reason why I wanted to get filler done is just because I wanted to see if there's something that I could do to like kind of elevate my, elevate the way that I look, just like a small thing. The reason why I wanted to show this on my channel, even though I probably could have just like not shown it and kind of just like avoided it altogether, I want to be super transparent with you guys. Like I want you to see when I'm getting anything done. The truth of the matter is I'm young, okay? I'm figuring things out. I'm figuring out what I like, what I don't like, what my look is. Um, and this is just part of the process. Like, who knows? Years down the line, I might just be like F fillers and just get everything removed or whatever the case is. Like, I don't know what my journey is, but as of right now, I just wanted to try it out, okay? And I'm happy with the results. These vlogs is really all about showing you guys my life and like everything that entails that. And I wanna be super honest, especially when it comes to like getting things done. But yeah, guys, that's just that. So. I understand if you guys are like, you know, you look better natural or whatever. That's your opinion and that's fine. Like, honestly, I don't mind you having that opinion because that's just your opinion. But as of right now, I like the way this looks. So, um, so today is a pretty chill day. I was just editing a video I had to edit this morning and that I had to send, like, ASAP. So I did that in bed because I was just so tired. But my lips look absolutely huge, you guys. Like... Today's a pretty chill day. I was like, should I get my toes done? But honestly, I was looking at my toes and they really don't look that bad. Like, let me show you guys my toes. And you guys, the best part about waking up in the morning is the view. Let me get that a focus. Like, it's kind of hard for the camera to pick it up. But I could literally see straight to the water in the morning when I wake up. And it's like the best thing ever. Not me showing the feet for free. But... This big toe, <laughs> this one, is kind of chip, like at the top, but I don't think it's that noticeable. So, I just waited out like for another week. <laughs> I try my best to make this look aesthetically pleasing, Ooh. but it's honestly, it's not giving, honey. <laughs> but it's gonna taste good. It's just two pieces of sausage and two boiled eggs. You know what, let me add some chili oil on top of it. And then just salt and pepper. I used to put Maggie on my eggs. Oh my God, that's the best snack, but I don't have Maggie at my place. Like, I, I don't know where to find it. My sister is gonna come and get me and we're just gonna go to them together because she needs to do some groceries as well I'm wearing this jumpsuit from Aritzia. I think I got this in the size small and it's just like entirely way too big like It doesn't feel big when you put it on but as you like walk and stuff the crotch just like 
progressively goes down and I constantly have to lift it up. So I try to um, tie it in the back, as you guys can see. But I don't know, it's still not working that well. It still feels loose. But yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna do a second shot. Okay, go walk in. Hi. Hi. This is a maple jerk tofu. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I will get that. This is pumpkin and lima bean. Is that much in your shop? Yeah, that's something. Okay, about to eat. This is fully vegan, so I'm really excited. My sister just put me onto this spot, so. so everywhere you go, you record this? Not everywhere, but like I try to. Okay, right. Yeah. I like this house. I need to come and live with you. Come, come, whatever you want. <laughs> I like how you're showing us the clean the place, nice. <laughs> I don't know, my That's crazy. I already told you that my face type, but I thought it was because you didn't it wasn't because you didn't have a password. Yo! It works? Yes. <laughs> don't be telling people that. Maybe tell me why her, her face ID her face ID like my face works on her face ID. And vice versa. Yo, that's actually crazy. Like we look alike, but we don't look alike like that, honey. Okay, twin. Do it like All right. Let me think about it. No worries. Oh, you know there is one more. Yeah, yeah, there is one more. Okay. Okay. Thank no. You. Wait, this is cute. Do you like it? Oh uh, yeah. There's no fur. There's no fur. Ira completed it. What brand is it? I love it. I wish it came with like a fur. Yeah, we we don't have fur. Anymore. Je vais like voir en ligne s'ils ont quelque chose comme ça mais avec le fur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Looks warm too. It's nice. So I'm back home. Pretty late at night now and of course we didn't end up going grocery shopping. I don't know what it is about me and my sister. Like whenever we're together we always just end up at the mall. Like I don't even know how that happened, but um, I was looking for a winter coat. I'm, I'm looking into buying a winter coat, and so you guys saw me try some on. I saw one that I really like that I'm considering getting, but anyways, um, I want to show you guys what I did get because I got something from Zara. I got a coat, and I like love it. Like I absolutely love it, but the reason why... I'm like even okay. Let me just give you guys a backstory. Also, my mango order came through. Um, I kind of got the same thing from mango that I got from Zara, but the reason why I picked this one up from Zara is literally half the price. Anyways, let me just show it to you guys. It's basically just a wool coat with the fur at the top. Like I feel like this is so nice for like a uh, dinner day or like just like going out. It's just like. So easy to throw on oh my god i love it so cute um i got it in a size medium because the small was the small fit but it was like a smidge too tight like this is comfortable it's also very long which i like that i just want you guys to see how long it is got it in a size medium it has shoulder pads that's always really really important to me now with coats like it needs to have shoulder pads i don't know i just feel like it just looks really really good like it just gives it let me take this out it just gives it like a very structured look that i love so this was 219 dollars the one that i got from mango was like 400 dollars. but now there's no comparison i think i'm going to return the mango one but i just want to try the mango one on just to see why does this look like the exact same coat this is crazy oh no it's a little bit different 
So I got this coat in a size small, and this one, this doesn't have any buttons on it. It also has a little bit of a slit here, which Zara doesn't have, but I don't know. I'm trying to see which one do I like better. This is literally double the price, but it doesn't feel all that much greater, honestly. The Zara one is a little bit longer. I prefer longer coats, me personally. Or are they the same? Like, I feel like those jackets are just identical. Like, I feel like it's from the same manufacturer or something. You guys know Mango and Zara are pretty alike in some ways, but... Let me see. The fur part does seem a little bit thicker. Like, it seems wider. Why does this look identical? Wait, let me really take a look at it. So there's very small differences. I go Zara, but it's literally the same. Zara one is half the price, however. This also has pretty strong shoulder pads. Definitely returning the mango one. I got some other things and I don't really remember. Okay, these are the jeans. Wait, these are really not bad. I just have to get them taken in. Okay, wait, I'm actually feeling these jeans. Hey, this is cute. I'm definitely keeping these. I just need to get the I just need to get this taken in so that there isn't like a huge gap in the back. So blue. Oh, my neighbor is so annoying. My neighbor is so annoying because I always leave my door open. Like I crack my balcony door open just for some fresh air, and he smokes like every hour. And it's like as soon as he starts smoking, I can smell it in my whole apartment. Like he smokes cigarettes, and I don't mind. Do your thing, live your life, but <clears throat> the smell is so strong. Like I can smell it in this room. I can smell it everywhere. Like I, I, I'll literally wake up from my sleep because I can smell it coming into my apartment, and I have to close my balcony door. Anyways, you guys, I don't even have time to be talking to you guys like this. I need to hurry up. So we're going to an event today. Today is Thursday. I'm going with Emily. You guys know she's like my event partner. <laughs> like if ever there's an event to go to, a lot of the events we just go together. Let me turn this on. I need to do my hair and my makeup, and I have. Okay, I have an hour actually. I have an hour and like 15 minutes to get everything done. That's not terrible. <clears throat> and lately I've really been just like doing my my uh, makeup and hair so much faster. Well, mostly my makeup because I got to, it came a time where like my makeup just took so long. But now I just like rush through it a little bit. I don't need to take so much time. But yeah, I had a phase where I was just taking so long. Like my makeup would take like an hour minimum. And I'm usually the type of person who does things really fast, so that was, that was different. But on Saturday, I'm going to Ottawa to speak at an event. It's something that Aisha Drame is setting up, if you guys know who that is. She's an influencer on Instagram. She does YouTube videos as well. And it's really exciting. Like, I've done a speaking engagement before. Um, it was actually a really exciting thing. I actually spoke at a YouTube event in Toronto, and... The thing is I have literally no photos or no videos because I went there alone and um, one of the people said that they were going to take videos of me and send it to me and I literally never received those videos ever. But that was the first time I did a speaking engagement. I was so nervous and the fact that it was like at like YouTube headquarters was so nerve wracking but honestly it went really really well and I think like <clears throat> that just made me really a lot more confident with like you know considering speaking and stuff like that. So anyways. 
Um, we're going to Ottawa. I decided like last minute that I'm just gonna sleep there because I was just gonna go there for the day and come back right away. But I think it just makes more sense for me to just like go there, get a hotel, stay for like the weekend and then come back. It just makes so much more sense. So on Friday, which is tomorrow, tomorrow night, I have a last appointment in the evening. So I'm only really gonna be able to go in the evening. I'm gonna see if I can move this last appointment because it's really um it's really a hassle i should have messaged her earlier but and the event is on saturday i'm gonna be meeting some of you guys which is really exciting it's really really exciting so i cannot wait oh this is not on um just to kind of talk about influencing and i guess my story with influencing giving tips and stuff like that also my little sister actually goes to university in ottawa so it's also a chance to like see her so it's just gonna be cool. I'm gonna be, I'll, I'll vlog it too. I'm also going with my little sister Zalika, you guys' fave, my fave. So it's gonna be a good time. I'm excited about that. I can only go based on the interactions that we see on the show, the couples, number ones, maybe even more than she loves them. Feel how happy he makes her feel. And this is where I started feeling. Headed in with my grub. <laughs> I was late as always. We're, yeah, we're always late. Like, no problem, enjoy. Cheers! Oh, oh, oh. headed out to go and get my lashes done i'm actually driving to ottawa today um because the event thing that i was talking to you guys to you guys about is tomorrow saturday so today is just like hectic i'm gonna have to drive to ottawa which is like a three hour drive i think so it's not too bad but my lash appointment is at 5 p.m so by the time i get done with my lashes and get to driving i need to pick up my little sister because she's coming with me i'm i feel like we're gonna get to ottawa at like midnight is what it's looking like but anyways, headed out to go and get my lashes done, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Really good. I'm really happy. Let me show you the videos. I'm really happy. Everything is between a story and a story of our trajectory was just a simple between you and me. So this is before. And then 
Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, but it looks really, really natural. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. Okay. I think it's because it's sweet, like on your eyes. Okay. And like nose and everything. Oh, okay, that's good to hear. I thought like sometimes I'm like I think it looks like fake, no. like plastic, you know. Hey guys. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're about to start this road trip. But why did I think it was a three hour drive to Ottawa? Why am I just not realizing? You didn't know it was five hours? No, what the hell? Oh. I literally t when Tadu asked us how he thought the drive was three hours. I told him it was five. <gasps> oh, I thought Lord. You did. It's 8 p.m., you guys. We're going to get there pretty late. So, I your, blanket. Goal, your goal is to really make sure that I'm up during this, during this, you know? Coffee is starting. No, no Starbucks. Um, We're not doing Starbucks. Mm -mm local shops are you gonna help me drive no nope. halfway you're gonna drive the rest okay, wait. I, I got you uh, 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 yeah. like my laces yeah why is it only on one foot should i put on the other foot the other laces in my bag yeah you, why would you do on the, only on one shoe i have rope laces and then on the other shoe i have pink laces Alright guys, we're gonna check in with you guys later. We should do a check-in every hour. Right. You also have to make sure I'm vlogging. It's 8.27. Oh my god guys. Let's see what Look we at my there. phone. It's literally What is this? It's it, you cannot see the screen. Oh my god. Oh, it says three hour and fifty-seven minutes. How'd you stop it? That's not too bad. How'd you stop it? Um, Press the record button, the red button. We fucked on my Bahamas trip, I know that you're not for me. Hey, Ellie. Hey. Let me restart this song. This is actually a good song. That was not that good. Oh, that you're not for me. Okay, anyways, it's been an hour, and we're at the on route now. I'm starving. I'm not really hungry. It's 9.31, we have two hours and 44 minutes to go. I got water in my shoes, and my sock is wet. And then this girl's just being the worst passenger, just <laughs> dropping water, like. But the Too loud. I did my edges. Wait, all alone. What? Oh, like on a few songs. It's good. <sighs> Love the swag, girl. What drink is that? How did you pay for that? I have money. Where? Where is your money from? I have your wallet. I have a five. I have five. You had a five dollar bill. Yeah. Damn, let me see. Let me see your money. It's just changed. This is $2.99 what, what without drink is that? Are you getting any other it's food? It's a slushy. Yeah, girl, you got money. Let me let me hold some. No. Candy is a no. You're not getting candy. Why? Okay, what? Oh, you're a hater. <laughs> you're a hater. I'm actually a hater. Please. PND. It's been a PND vibe, right? Yup, PND. You already know that that's the, the greatest Toronto artist. Better than
Okay guys, so I got out the shower, I curled my hair. I'm about to start my makeup. It's currently 8.45. I just kind of need to hurry up because I kind of need to be ready by 10 o'clock. So I'm just going to get started on my makeup. And then it'll be time to go to the event. How are you soft wet? Because it's right under the car. I spilled the water bottle in the back Yeah, that blazer is nice. Thank you. Oh. I'm glad we in the car too. It's you right in. You know what he really is. I need to get going on this place, so. I need to practice these questions, though. She put together the questions already? Yeah. You're practicing with a car. And then I fell asleep when we were done. I was on the verge of falling asleep. So who's gonna be there? Hi, guys. Again. Who I need to scratch because I take this part out. Okay, so we're gonna practice these questions. Okay, do you want to ask me a question? <coughs> ask me the personal brand question because I honestly I'm not sure how to answer that. Okay, okay. question. Okay, how did you build your personal brand and what are practical steps on how to create a personal brand? So I feel like with your personal brand, this isn't something that I was mindful of when I started, but I feel like it could be beneficial to be mindful of the direction of where you want to go and how you want to be perceived, the type of brands that you want to work with. All of this has to do with like your personal brand and how you present yourself online. Say when you're creating content, just be mindful of how you want, what personal brands you want to make, what what you want your personal brands to be and kind of just make sure that your content aligns with that. I don't even know what the question is anymore, child. I don't even know if I'm answering the question. How do you, how you build your, your personal oh, brand? How do I build my personal brand? brand? How did you build your personal brand? You and also practice Hey! Stop. Do you have a, what? How do you build your personal brand and what are practical steps on how to create a personal brand? Oh, how to create a personal brand. Practical steps on how to create a personal brand. Okay. Well... I absolutely have no idea. <laughs> 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 See, now go to your makeup, bro. Like, you're yeah, ending for not even 15 yeah. minutes. Do you have a social media girl strategy? If so, what are key elements to throwing on social media? What are your top... Oh, okay, that's a different question, but same question. And also, what are your top five secrets on how to become successful on every social media platform? You have top five secrets written down. Oh my gosh, you look so good in here. Hello! You too. Yeah. You have to come up with top five secrets. Yeah, I know. I have three. Can you help me, Ashley? This what did you say? The first one is to be able to switch, is to be able to view your content from growth, like the lens of a creator. creator and a viewer. The second one is to jacket, please. Uh, maintain an aesthetic, be visually appealing. The third one is to, what is the third one? What is the third one, Zerika? You should write Double it down, down on what does it well. It is in my notes. Oh. Double down on what does well. So if something does well for you, you know, keep the momentum going. Okay. Those are my three. But five is a lot. I might just tell them, sorry guys, I don't have five, I have three. <laughs> five is a lot. Like, five secrets? It's a secret for a reason. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. You can kind of see what everybody says. <laughs> like, keeping it consistent. Okay, consistency. That's easy. Consistency. The so what you know only oh, does good one. things because you don't know if trying something new. Why is it is focused on my mouth? Open you up to like more mm -hmm. people. You know, mm -hmm. so like don't limit yourself to just one thing. Mm -hmm. Like be open. Um, okay, guys, let's talk to each other. To today. like exploring don't different limit stuff. Don't to one niche or yeah. To what? And then to from do. there, figure out what are you know the best stuff oh, for, for you. you. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Can I show them the view? No. Huh? Okay. So, the view's not that good because there's like construction. Construction. Bro, auto is actually so dead. Like, tell me why when you go out in the streets, there's like no one there. There's like five people walking here. And it's only old people. Like, bro, if you were to go to Toronto at this time, there'd be like thousands of people walking in the streets, bro. <laughs> so yeah, my name is Fatima. Um, I do content creating. I am still a little bit shy. so much worse like then. People will comment on my videos like, speak up, literally. <laughs> like someone was like, can you speak a little louder? I was mortified. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe this. Um, so I got 
I was a little bit more comfortable. I started speaking louder and like I started speaking really fast actually. So many commented like, "Can you slow down?" Actually, it was just like a whole thing. I was always thinking about like how to speak because I was just like, sorry. What? How do I put on your taxes? Oh my god, that was a big thing that gave me so much anxiety, and I'm only really fixing it now. Um, I just I was so confused on how it worked, like. As you can imagine, I'm just making all this money and I'm not really thinking that I'm going to pay taxes at the end of the year. CRA was on my ass. <laughs> this is my language. <laughs> um, so I got an accountant. That's how, that's how it happened. I literally, I got to a point where I was like, okay, I need to figure this out. I Googled an accountant in my area and he's now my accountant and he takes care of everything for me. I'm, I'm very, very, very happy and I just wanted to give a huge clap for our friends. Yo, make sure you subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you're a hater. Guys, it was a success. Um, it was really good, actually. Alright guys, the event is done. Oh my god, I love this bodysuit because it just gives the girls. Like, I don't have any girls, but it's giving I have girls. Okay? Oh, what's the <laughs> it's like, shut up, please. <laughs> please. Um, but, let me take this one out. There's no space. Can you just go around? So anyways, look at the way this bodysuit just makes it. Like, why are you? So anyways, I was just thinking because I think a lot of people when I was, um, a lot of people came up to me after and they were just telling me like, oh, like I'm so shy or like I don't have the personality for it. And it's just funny how a lot of us like think we're different in a way like I think I'm different because I'm like I'm so awkward and everyone else doesn't seem awkward if you know what I mean but it's like at the end of the day we are all kind of the same in the way that we think if that makes sense like that's just what this made me realize because I'm looking at so many girls and I'm like if you want to do content creating like just do it like nothing should hold you back because a lot of girls were that came to the event I think were like trying to start like content creating and stuff and I'm looking at them like, you're pretty, you have a nice personality. Like, why wouldn't anyone like you? Like, just go ahead and start. But it's like so much people, Sadika. Personal space. So many people have like internal things and it's like you don't see it on the outside. For me, with like my social anxiety and stuff, like, I feel like it is kind of noticeable sometimes. But I don't know. You're just weird. So anyways. Um... <coughs> And also, it doesn't matter, like, I think as long as people know that you have a good heart, like, things like that don't really matter. Like, it's okay to be kind of awkward. Like, I feel like I was even kind of awkward today. Like, sometimes I just get awkward. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to look. You know, it's just like, what, what do I do, honey? Do, uh, 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 I'm confused. <laughs> no, but. Anyways. By the way. By the way. No, no, I have No, by the way. I did all the filming. So. If you guys watched the video, go look at that amazing photography because that was all me. Try not to let the social anxiety like get mess you. with your mind too much. Or like try not to make other people's perception of you have too much of an impact on you. Does that make sense to you? Just don't let it get to you. <coughs> yeah, and like even if it does get to you, like it's okay. You know, like I don't know how to like, I don't know how to say it. Like, I don't know. So we're on our way back home with my lovely sis. 
who has been pissing me off with. First of all, why do you have AirPods in if we're on a road trip? I need somebody to talk to. Cause I don't like your playlist. Your playlist well, sucks. Well, you can help. Me. We can we can choose the music. Together. You don't like my music though, when I don't like your music. Yeah, I don't like your music. <laughs> I don't like your music. <laughs> it's actually good. Tastes like berry skittles. But let's go at the round time, Coach Man. All right, let's get out of here. So we have around three hours left. We're on our way back, you guys. More like four hours. Three hours and thirty minutes. And she's just, I don't even have anyone to talk to or nothing. What does that Cardi B mean? I don't know. My love life. Anyways. I don't even have anyone to talk to. Like, she just put her AirPods in like, hello, can I get conversation at least? Like, what did you think I brought you for? Just for you to sit in the car and put your AirPods in? Like, damn, girl. I'm bored. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I finally recognize the feelings that's inside for you. Although I know your man and trust me, he would die for you. Hey guys, today is Monday. I'm back from Ottawa. So last night I really just dating. I was so tired. I slept super early and now I feel like super well rested because I feel like I haven't slept well in the past three days. But um today i am going to get laser done i'm going to my laser girl which is aki laser so that's what we have planned for today i also need to go to the mall and like things of that sort but we'll see so i'm leaving laser i didn't film there but i'll insert some clips because i filmed on my phone and i'm actually headed to the mall right now because i need to make a return and yeah so i've resumed laser so I just want to give you guys an update because the last time that I talked about laser on my channel was when I was doing it at that clinic and it was just so painful so I had to stop. So I go to um, Belle Fee Laser on Instagram. Her laser is honestly great you guys. I've actually been coming here for quite a while like it's been a couple months at this point. Um, I started coming to her and the first thing I noticed is that it's not painful at all like I was like that is crazy that I could have just been coming here this whole time because if you guys remember when I was doing laser previously it was so painful to the point where I was going out and buying numbing cream I was taking Tylenol before my appointments like it was just so bad like I was avoiding the appointments because I was just like the pain is just crazy it was worse than waxing 100% but anyways I started coming here and honestly the laser her laser doesn't hurt like I don't know how but her machine doesn't really hurt. I don't really get hair growing on my underarms um, anymore. Like I literally don't have to shave my underarms at all. I just shave right before my laser appointment because it's like small thin hairs that you can barely even see. Um, I So I do underarms in Brazilian. I want to start doing my legs as well. But um, yeah, the Brazilian area is taking a little bit more time, but that's normal because hair is just more dense there. And um, is hormonal is what she told me so that area is taking a little bit more time but i still see like a lot of like improvements like in the area <laughs> but yeah so that's my little update on laser i'm super happy with it now because it's just like so comfortable for me because i there's no pain involved 